Hello again, welcome, welcome back to another video. Just thought I'd do a little vlog of what I was up to, just to show you uh, what I do on a day to day basis. So uh, let me show you around. Okay, so this is the first car I've Late 2012 Focus Titanium. It's quite nice condition. Uh, I think it's got 70, yeah, 75,000 miles. Uh, got it off a trader friend of mine. It literally just needed uh, a good valet. I've driven it, so the mat's dirty, but um, it just needed a good, good clean on the outside and the inside. Wheels and tyres. Um, Put a couple of replacement tyres on the front because they were a bit low on the last MOT. Um, they said that they were um, low. So literally I just bought it, trade, gave, given it clean. It's got an MOT. It's got an MOT on it. History, uh, service history, it's all been serviced up so it doesn't need servicing. So that one's ready to go. So this one's advertised at the moment. And I picked up this one. This is 2014. Focus again. This one is a titanium 1.6 diesel. And this is just a ZTEC, which is a 1.6 diesel again. Um, so I bought it because of the damage to the front wing. Well, the front wing, sorry, not the front wing, damage to the front bumper. So you can see that the, the bumper isn't the same colour. So I think it's obviously been painted before in the past. But I was looking at getting a replacement second hand bumper, same colour, but they're just not out at the moment. And the ones that are, are just ridiculously expensive, three, four hundred pounds. Uh, I gave it a wash yesterday and it is actually in pretty good condition. I mean, there isn't a mark or a scratch. I think I noticed, I think that's the only thing I noticed, a little touch up it needs there on the bonnet. Um, the rest of the car is really good. I mean, there's not a mark or a scratch, anything on it at all. So this one's got no MOT. I'm gonna buy um, a new bumper and get it painted. I've got someone who I know who can do that cheap. The bumpers are quite cheap to buy. 50, 60 quid for an elf insurance approved one. Uh, the paint's not gonna be that expensive. It will need, it will need a good service. I'm going over, checking. Uh, all the fluids will need doing in it. Um, I think the discs and pads all look good. I think I checked the front discs and pads, all the tires I think look good. Good clean inside, good valet, new MOT, service, front bumper. Uh, this one's got 100,000 miles on it, full service history. So, again, this is something I bought cheap. Um, Midnight Sky, that colour is. So, I bought that a couple of days ago. I bought that one a couple of days ago. And then we've got this car here, which is a Focus, another Focus Estate, or another Focus Estate, so it's 63 plate. I've had this one a while. I bought it uh, maybe six months ago, so it's got Keyless entry, keyless start. This one's got 140,000 miles. So this one's a Titanium X. So it's got the nav on it, heated seats, park assist, cruise, that kind of thing. So I bought this one with a suspected coolant pressurization problem. Uh, again, cheap, 
I was hoping that it was an airlock or maybe the EGR call or something. Uh, and it was just, it was pressurizing the calling system. Not badly, and you wouldn't know apart from the fact that it was losing a little bit of water. So it turned out to be the head gasket. Uh, so the, the head gasket has been, been done on this. So the head gasket has been done on this car, which I've done myself, uh, which not exactly an easy task, but you know, the head off, I've got the head skimmed, uh, pressure tested, which was fine. The gasket was uh, obviously uh, breached. So 140,000 miles. Um, it looks like potentially that it had an, a water leak at some time in its past and it had just been topped up with water continuously and that might have diluted the empty freeze and that's what's contributed to the actual gasket going out. I don't know, but from things that I read up on and people that I asked, it was most probably the head gasket at that mileage. So it's quite a nice car. It's got, you know, some stone chips and stuff on the front. Um, full service history, really nice car. See the, it's like a different colour, doesn't it? Um, it's a really nice car to drive. It's got about a month's MOT left on it, so I bought it with MOT on it. So it's going to need another MOT but I reckon it will pass, no problem. It's quite a nice car up together. So that's, that's that car. So I'm, dri I'm keeping this at the moment, I'm driving it around. Um, I'll get bored of it and then I'll probably sell it on. Okay, and then we've got this Peugeot 207 CC. 75,000 miles. Quite a nice car. Again, I bought this cheap uh, because the gearbox is noisy and the roof rattles when it's up. So this is something I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking the gearbox out, stripping it down, taking the gearbox out, stripping it down. I'm trying to hopefully it's just a bearing quite a common problem on these boxes apparently the input shaft bearing so we'll find out it's quite quite a nice little thing again bought it quite cheap so it's 2010 because obviously it's got private plate on it and hopefully the roof rat will be something simple and i think the bodywork on it is pretty good and there's a patch there i might be able to buff I might be able to sand that wet sand it down and buff it up maybe don't know but overall again good history two keys so that's something else I'm going to be doing and then we've got this Porsche Boxster S 110,000 miles 2002 bought it with a few niggly problems um, starter motor needed replacing lambda sensor rear discs and pads front pads which have been done uh, I've also fitted remote central locking to this car because the keys didn't have any central locking so I've fitted these oh, there's a video on my channel about that so now the central locking works the window didn't drop like that when you open the door and now key works as normal. We've also replaced the ignition switch. A few other little bits and pieces, regas the aircon, stuff like that. And this is for sale at the moment. Quite a nice little car, good history. So that's something else I've been doing. And then we've got this Toyota Prius, 2011, 130,000 miles. Bodywork is horrific on it. Uh, rear bumper isn't attached properly. Some scratches, marks, paint defects. It's just, uh, it's gonna need a good buff. Replacement front bumper, because it's all cracked. Light lens, repaint on front bumper. 
So again, this is short on an MOT. It's got um, comfort in comfort. Oh, it's got keyless entry, keyless start. This car, when I got it, was absolutely disgusting. If I can find a picture, I'll put it in here and show you. But this, I mean, I, it took me hours to valet this car. Because it was absolutely disgusting and the front seat was disgusting. And obviously, I've been using it and that's dirty. It just needs hoovering. But a really nice car. Needed some anti roll bar bushes, which I've done. Service, which I've done. It's going to need a new MOT and do the front bumper. Hopefully, rehang the rear bumper, give it a mop, and then uh, this one's going to be up for sale. So that's that one, and then this is my van. This is a van that I've had since one, one year old. It's got 24,000 miles on it, it's a limited. So it's got heated seats, aircon, cruise. And this I need to sell. I'm not doing anything with it anymore, it's just sitting here. It's practically in mint condition, it needs a good valet, a good clean, full service history, low miles. I do love it though, and for what it owes me, which is nothing anymore. I mean, it's probably worth 13, 14 grand, something like that. I mean, it's worth 13, 13 and a half trading. I mean, we buy any, we, we buy any van quoted me 13 and a half. So it's worth, easily worth 14 and a half, isn't it, on the open market? But it's got all my stuff in it. What would I be able to buy with that miles? that year with that comfort but it needs to go it's just sitting there doing nothing I barely use it anymore so that's basically it that's a bit of a walk around on the cars that I've got and what I'm doing at the moment stuff to keep me busy a few errands and stuff that I need to run and get in some paint for the focus order a bumper up get that sorted, get that advertised, new MOT, get it serviced, and the Prius also as well, I need to order a bumper for that, the paint, get the paint, I might do the paint myself on that, I'm not sure, I can do a bit of paint, but is it really worth it, when the price you can get for someone, you know, body shop, trade price, just, just, you know, brand new bumper, just blow it in with paint, they haven't got to do anything apart from prep and paint, so, that's it, I've also purchased a 2008 Range Rover Sport that's got a few issues, so that should be delivered tomorrow. So I'll do a video on that, I'll do a little walk around on that when it turns up and uh, upload it. And uh, yeah, these kind of stuff keep me busy. So again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you like it, or dislike it if you don't like it. Um, it all helps for feedback and consider subscribing if maybe you are interested in what I'm doing and what I might be doing in the future. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.